Hello everyone and welcome to the 100 Leads in 30 Days Challenge where I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how to generate an unlimited stream of hot leads and closings directly from social media using a bulletproof three-step process. And this is the exact process that we've used to help our client Ryan generate $600,000 of profit in 2021 and how over the past two years, 169 properties have sold through our system and over $100 million in real estate sales volume has been closed to our system and $2 million plus in GCI. So stay tuned, you're gonna wanna watch this. I'm not gonna get into too much of the presentation part. I am gonna be showing you exactly how to do this, so just make sure to stay tuned, okay? So on this training, I'm gonna be sharing with you, like I said, how to generate 100 plus leads in the next 30 days. I'm gonna be giving you the exact ad copy, headlines, and copy paste templates so that you can generate 100 plus leads in the next 30 days. I'm gonna be showing you how to retarget. So how do you actually follow these people across the internet and stay in front of your ideal client using bulletproof retargeting? And I'm gonna be giving you the exact scripts that you can use for your retargeting ads that we use to get booked appointments for our clients every single month on autopilot. I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to automate your follow-up with SMS and email automation so that you can start to get 50% plus responding back to you after they engage with the ad because the ad is just one component. If you don't have automated SMS and email that's connected to the ad, your conversion rate's gonna drop significantly. So I'm gonna be showing you how to get a 50% plus response rate with your uh, follow-up campaigns and automate some even more appointments. And then lastly, I'm gonna show how you can install these templates and this entire system pretty much instantaneously and start scaling your business today. So let's get into it. So the best part of this training is that I'm gonna keep it simple. There's a lot of noise in today's marketplace about what you should or shouldn't do. So your commitment today needs to be to simplicity and not complexity. Truly anyone can do what I'm about to share with you if you follow along, and this is not a lecture or a knowledge session. This is a full-blown implementation class where you can walk away with a system that we charge our clients five plus figures for, and if you don't believe me, you can go find some of our clients and ask how much they've invested with us, and they'll tell you that it's not cheap. So before we get started, who am I and why should you listen to this training and why should you follow along and stay to the end? Well, my name is Quinn Nolan and over the past five years, I dropped out of college, I started two six-figure marketing agencies and I started my first business with my cousin which is a video marketing agency and over the past five years, we've edited thousands of videos, we've traveled the world and we've learned exactly what it takes to build a brand in today's world and how to stay relevant and how to use it to convert. So I personally have managed over half a million dollars in advertising spend and we currently manage anywhere from 15 to $20,000 per month in ads. And more importantly, in the last two years, 150 plus properties were sold through our system, which equated to over $100 million in volume and $2 million in revenue for our clients. And I'll be showing you the entire list of properties in case you don't believe me, showing you some social proof of clients we've worked with. And the craziest part is that that's just from the seller leads that we could track since 2019. We've literally generated thousands of leads that were never audited or are lost somewhere in the digital web. And we've done a lot better of a job in the last two years with auditing all of these leads now. And so we've really got some powerful data and leverage behind our methodology at this stage. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you exactly how you, yes, you, can implement this into your business today and start getting results in the next few hours. Real estate is in my blood. My mom has been an agent for the past 17 years. My grandpa owns properties all across the US and I truly just love it. So you could just say real estate found me and just kind of being online, having this digital understanding was just where I happened to land. So I know what it's like to have unpredictability in your real estate business as well. 
and this is where my work is rooted from to empower real estate agents to grow their business with automation and the systems that I'm going to be sharing with you. So let's check out some of our clients. Here's one of our clients, Ryan Lenniker. Um, he's a part of the House Heroes, and you can see his partner Troy Reed. And you can see, you know, I'm here in all these photos, right? A lot of marketers will just kind of get their clients to show, send a video testimonial, and that's it. But all of our clients we know in person, pretty much that you know at least work from um, this area. And you can see here's me with my client Ryan. Uh, this is actually a thumbnail, so we're not like together in this specific uh, image. But um, you know, Ryan made six hundred thousand dollars profit with our system in 2021, just directly from our system. This is our client Leo Robles, who is literally one of the top recruits at EXP Realty, has a 1,500-person organization, just a top real estate professional, and we've worked with him to do his content and branding and video. And here's Gabriel Bolaños, Justin Itzen, George Vega. There's Leo Robles again, Lori Alvarez, Camille Romero. And here is our holy grail sheet where we actually have, and I can pull it up live just so you can see, um, a list of over 170 properties that were sold from our system. And basically this is how we keep track of what we're doing now that we're pretty much focused on um, seller leads when we work with private clients. Um, so yeah, this is our list here and these are all just the you know properties that we track from people that work with us privately. So that's that and then we also have just some more screenshots of just you know uh, you know people booking appointments with our system. That was a buyer uh, system in particular. Um, but if we go to I think here, I have my video where I show all these different appointments we have in our system. So I'm showing you kind of the seller leads at this point. Um, and there I'm showing the Holy Grail again. And I think I have the appointments somewhere here. Yeah. So you can see this for this particular client, I think in the last uh, year, yeah, 163 fully automated appointments for our client. And, um, you know, they've leveraged this into over $600,000. And you can see here's our tracking sheet where I'm just kind of showing the numbers. 222 seller leads last year, 113 automated bookings. And we've already gotten about, you know, 40 or so bookings this year for this particular client, which is the one that we can kind of showcase right now, uh, just because a lot of our other clients don't really want all their stuff out there. But just kind of showing you that, look, there's a reason to watch this. Um, and my intention for doing this is so that I can grow my YouTube channel. So if you're wondering, you know, what I'm pitching or why I'm giving all this away, it's because I want to grow my YouTube channel. And so I want to make kind of this um, unicorn, you know, 100 leads, 30 days challenge for anybody that's in real estate that wants to get going, wants to get leads online and doesn't have any, any structure, doesn't know what to do. And so that's why I'm doing it. I want you to like this, comment, share it, and get this thing moving so that I can grow my channel. So that's why I'm doing it. And here's more you know, photos of me just working with real estate professionals. I like to show it just so people can actually see that I'm a real person, I'm out in the real estate community, and you know, I'm not just a digital marketer at home making videos and kind of telling agents what they should be doing. So. I'm involved in the community. I, I'm pretty close to being an agent myself at this point. It's it's almost like I'm, I am an agent at this point, but I'm not. And then here's just some of the philanthropic work that we've been able to do through actually one of our clients who's deeply involved in this work. And um, you know, just wanted to show just like I said, just some of the things that we do. And we actually took all these photos. Our company. Um, you know, took these photos, my cousin takes these photos and yeah, I just like to show like we understand how to create brand and a look and, and a vibe. So that's kind of all the unique synthesis of information we're going to be sharing today is the branding, the look, the feel, the vibe, and then how do you actually convert this into something for your business today. 
So once again, my name is Quinn Nolan and I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how you can generate a predictable or you can implement a predictable system to generate one, two, three, or five plus new clients every single month on demand with predictability. So on this training, like I said, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to generate the 100 leads, how do we retarget, what are the scripts to use, and how do you automate your follow-up with SMS and email, and how do you actually do this, right? So that's pretty much it in terms of the intro. And also, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna be giving you a cheat sheet basically which teaches you the entire you know method that I'm going to be sharing with you right here so that you can you know have kind of like a written copy and implement it whenever you choose but you know like I said back here um, you know this is something that you can implement right now while you're watching it you know open another tab put your phone away you know tune into this because I'm literally showing you something that clients pay thousands and thousands of dollars for and I'm gonna be showing you how to do it right here. Like I'm done talking about me and client results and all that, I'm literally gonna show you this strategy. So here is the strategy, get ready and let's do it. So what we're gonna do is I'm just, I've broken this down into three simple steps. So we need to create the ads, right? And you need somebody to show you how to create the ads, which is what I'm gonna do. And then you need to create a retargeting audience, which I'm gonna show you how to do. So you can follow up virtually with these people that are engaging with your content. And then lastly, we need to be able to implement the retargeting ad with a call to action so we can get those leads that have originally seen the first ad, right? So that's the strategy, this is how it works. We'll have one campaign that's cold, right? So this is gonna be for new people that have never seen us. We're gonna have one audience here, so we could just target a specific area that you wanna market in. We're gonna have a set of four ads, and then we're gonna basically tell Facebook, hey, we wanna get a list of these people that you know open this, this form, but they didn't submit their information, and then we wanna show them you know, this, this video or these set of new retargeting ads and get them to fill it out so we can start to get those people as leads. So very, very simple. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do this. People charge thousands and thousands of dollars to show this and it's just at this point, like I said, I wanna grow my YouTube channel, I wanna be a leader in the real estate community and I want people to see me as someone they can trust. So the only way I can do it is to actually show you how to do this stuff. So let's get into it and like I said, if you stay to the end, I'll be showing you how to get this cheat sheet and basically you can download this at any time and get access to this entire guide here. So we're gonna skip over this. You don't need to necessarily uh, you know, see all this part, but really what, what problems does this challenge solve, okay? So when I was breaking it down, real estate isn't a viable career opportunity for everyone. It's a viable career opportunity if you know what you're doing, you have the right training, you have the right systems in place, but the majority of people are pretty much in, they're, they're in a paradox, right? They have to go get clients, they have to fulfill those, those client services, they have to deal with communication, there's a lot of things that you guys have to do. So in order to make this more efficient, what I've done as a, as a way of solving this problem is we have to replace yourself with technology to generate new business. If you don't have an automated system or people that are working your system for you to get new people, you're always gonna be in this feast or famine real estate cycle where you get a deal, you know, that you get closed, you know, you close 90 days later, you get that check, and you basically are only making like minimum wage and you're just in this feast or famine cycle, never knowing where your next deal is coming from, right? So if we want that consistency, we have to replace kind of the human part of like going out there and attempting to get business. And we gotta have first that, that automated way to generate leads. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, when you're starting your business that you can just, you need to just go spend a bunch of money on ads. Um, that may be an automated way of getting leads through texting, right? It, it's not gonna fully be automated right when you start if you don't have a budget. 
you may need to do some cold calling, you may need to prospect, right? Or you may need to add what I'm sharing as a supplement, right? But if you wanna actually get some predictability, you're gonna need automated lead gen and automated text and automated email follow-up. That's just a fact, okay? So I don't wanna you know, keep fluffing all this up. Let's, let's start to get into this and if you wanna check this out when you download it, you can. Here's some additional resources and stuff like that. Now let's actually get into literally how do you do this. So the first step is going to be to go to business.facebook.com, okay? So you're gonna open up a tab, go to business.facebook.com and I'm gonna move this right here so it's right next to each other. So the first thing you do is now, Facebook's always changing and stuff, so I'm gonna go to all tools, then I'm gonna go to ads manager. All right, now I can close this because I don't need it. And you can actually see I just you know broke all this down in a previous video on my YouTube in a different way. Um, but I'm just going to delete this so that everything, you know, we have a nice clean slate and basically, you know, you're not confused about anything that we're doing at this point. So clean slate, this is basically an ad account, all right? So I'm in a test ad account. I don't really run any ads from here. I don't think I've ever ran any ads from here. So I can kind of set up stuff and just test stuff and do demonstrations here. So what we're gonna do, right, is we're gonna follow this guide and I'm gonna just kind of bounce back between the instructions and you know the actual clicking and doing, doing of this, okay? So the first step is we're gonna click create over here, this green button. So we're gonna click create and then you can see here on the ad, it's gonna say choose the uh, marketing objective and I think for the sake of this example, I'll make this easy and I'll do this and I'll do this. So that way we can see both at one time. Okay, so now I'm in the middle. All right, so now we can, we click to create and now we're gonna uh, click create a campaign for ads in a special category. So that is now moved. So you're just gonna click lead generation for now. Okay, we're gonna click continue and then now you can follow uh, this specific instruction, okay? So it's gonna say, uh, I'm creating a campaign for ads in a special ad category, so you're gonna click that, and it's gonna be housing, okay? So they kinda change that, but that's how you do it, click housing. Now make sure these are all off, so you can just make sure they're off and then just move to the next section by clicking next. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through everything super methodically just because some of it's gonna be too much to explain one by one. Just make sure you're kind of doing what I'm doing on the screen. So the next thing we're gonna do is we'll be right here. So in the ad set name, so this is ad set name, we're gonna be copying this uh, little form or this little uh, thing right here. We're just gonna paste it here. So like I said, if you stay to the end, you can get this uh, this cheat sheet so you can have it to for all your processes for creating ads later too. For now you can just you know type this out or something like that. So 18 to 65 is gonna be the first thing and then the next thing is gonna be this audience number one. So I'll explain that later. City, state, 15 mile radius, and then city homes list, auto placements, right? So I'll explain this as we go through the rest of it. So the next thing is make sure we have instant forms. So this is really cool. This is a way for people to easily submit their information to you using a Facebook form. You don't have to wait for a landing page to load. And it's really, really simple if you're starting out. If you're brand new to this, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing anything else. So click instant forms and then choose your page. I'm gonna choose my page, Quinn Nolan. And you're probably, if you're running your first ad, you're gonna to need to accept these terms. Um, and it's really easy, you just scroll to the bottom, click accept. Okay, so we're basically right here right now. So now we're skipping over this, this is off, we don't need any of that. Optimization for ad delivery is leads, so that's good. And then for our budget. So if you're, basically your budget is your budget, right? So I would say at minimum, um, you know, start with $5 per day and then, you know, depending on 
how confident you're feeling or whatever, you know, you, you can raise this up. Um, you know, with our clients, minimum, we're usually managing at least $1,500 per month in ad spend. So, you know, I'm used to always having at least 50 bucks per day for us to manage. Um, so I'm just gonna put 50, but you can put five there if you want. And, you know, basically what this number is gonna affect is, number one, how many people you're reaching on a daily basis, how many leads you're gonna generate, right? That's the main thing. So if you put five bucks a day, you're not gonna get the same amount of leads if you put 50, right? Pretty common sense, but just wanna share that. Um, also, this number here, don't worry about it, right? If you put five and it says zero, don't, don't worry about it because it's not necessarily accurate, okay? So daily budget, the other thing I like to do is I like to put the start date for, you know, the day the following day and i just like to put it at midnight that way the ads start running on a clean fresh day and you know for with what we do with our private clients and stuff you know we don't really want ads running in the middle of the day when we're creating them in case there's things we need to change or whatever it is we just don't like you know running an ad right after we post it and then like having to potentially you know, make any sort of corrections or anything like that. So that's just what we do. You could launch it right when you're ready if you want, but um, this is what we do. So that's that. And now we're scrolling down here to basically where we uh, are we, like I said, they move this all the time. So this is in a little bit of a different order, um, but basically we're right here now. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to uh, select people living in this location unless you want people that are traveling in the location. Um, but I recommend choosing people living in the location, that way you can get more sellers as well. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the location. So I'm just gonna do Austin, Texas. So this would be where you wanna generate your leads from. and. You, the minimum criteria is gonna be 15 miles around the city. So if you're cool with that, then, well, you have to be cool with it or else you can't run the ad. But I mean, if you wanna go bigger, you can. You can do 25, you can do, I mean, you can do 16, 17, 18. You can go, you know, increase by one after 15. So I'm gonna leave it at 15. We got 1.1 million people. We got an estimated seven to 25 leads per day and that's with a $50 budget. If I click $5, it says zero, so you should, you would still probably get leads at five bucks a day, so I wouldn't mess with it. So um, now, for simplicity as well, you can't change the age, so don't worry about that. You can't change the gender. Now, I also recommend leaving the detailed targeting blank for your first ad. Um, if you wanna test out adding some interest, you can, so you could do Zillow, um, Trulia real estate, uh, you know, for sale by owners is a, is a good one for sellers and stuff like that. Um, the way I recommend is starting off with it blank, just, you know, especially if, if you have a new account. And if you do want to add a interest, just choose one. That way you can clearly discern between what's working and what's not if you do multiple ads. So then you could test Zillow versus Trulia and see which ad gets better leads and which actually converts into more deals. Okay, so for the sake of this, I'm gonna do Zillow um, just because I wanna show you how we're gonna name our ad set. But you can leave it blank or you can do it with those. It kinda doesn't matter. It's such a simple ad that it's, it's gonna work either way. So we're gonna do automatic placements as well just because that's where we're starting out with and that's gonna be what we wanna do. So now what we're gonna do is go to our ad set name and we're gonna to start to adjust this based on the criteria that we set. So we're targeting Zillow, so we're gonna do Zillow. And then for our city, we wanna do Austin, Texas. And then we did a 15 mile radius, right? If we were gonna do a 30, we would do 30. We were gonna do 35, we do you know 35, we're gonna do 20, we do 20. Now, this doesn't actually change the ad and where it's being shown. It just changes our ability to measure and see how our system's working at a high level, okay? 
So for the at, this is going to be the city homes list. So we're going to do Austin homes list, and then we're going to do auto placements. Okay, everything's set up just like that. And now we're going to go to the actual ad. So we click next here. And then we're going to choose, we're just going to delete this so it's a clean, clean slate. And then what I'm going to do is just go to Redfin because that's where we can actually download some images. You can't download them from Zillow. So if you got a listing, you can use your listing. Um, you know, but I'm just going to use a nice image that I see here that uh, just kind of works based on all the ads that I've ran in my day what what I think would kind of get a lot of clicks so I like this one I'll come back to it in case unless I um, if I don't find something else but I liked that one um, I just kind of know what I'm looking for at this point right so I'm just showing you this so you can kind of see the process of actually getting the image um, so if not, I'm gonna just go back to that first one. And let's do, yeah, let's just do that one. So it was right, right here, okay? So we're gonna click this. The reason, you know, I, I've done so many ads at this point, it's just the grass looks good. It's not over edited. Um, you know, it's close up and it's bright as well. And it just looks like a simple home to where, you know, if it's a simple home with a good price, a lot of people are interested in, you know, just kind of like getting a deal, right? So this just has that type of a house where, you know, it just, it looks like it'll appeal to almost anyone, you know, I mean, not a luxury buyer, but like, there's a good amount of people that be like, oh, that's just like a nice house, right? So that's what I've picked up from, you know, running thousands and thousands of dollars of ads. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna click this and click next, okay? And then we're just gonna wanna make sure that all of this is formatted correctly. So we'll just do that and click done. Boom, just like that. So now we have our ad. And all we're gonna do is just type in image number one. And that way we have, you know, the ad right here. It's already running in Instagram and uh, Facebook video feeds, Instagram Explore, Instagram Stories, Facebook Stories. So we're already, you know, showing up everywhere on Facebook, okay? So you can basically see here, I've done, you know, I've basically kind of just shown you how to do this. And now we need to basically paste our template. So I'm gonna come here to our template, which is this, and I'm gonna just copy this, paste that there, and then we're gonna replace this. So new city, so I'm gonna do new Austin homes on the market, and then adjective is just gonna be beautiful. So check out these beautiful homes that just hit the market in Austin. Click learn more below to get a custom list of homes instantly, okay? Boom, now it's ready and then click, uh, or copy this headline here, paste this and then get an exclusive list of Austin homes, okay? So there's the ad and then you're just gonna put learn more, okay, keep it simple. And then I like to just put this on the description just so we can uh, you know, maximize the space here. You can't see it on this preview, but it shows up there. So click learn more below, okay? So now we're, we got the ad set up. And now what we're gonna do is click create form, okay? So I'm gonna show you on our, our process here where we are at, so you're, if you're following along, you know exactly what we're doing. So we just did this, and then now we're gonna click Create Form. So that's what we just clicked. So I went here, clicked Create Form. So now what we're gonna do is name the form City Homes List, okay? And the city being your city you selected. So I'm gonna do Austin Homes List, click Intro, and then for the headline, we're going to remove the greeting. So we're gonna, for this greeting, we're just gonna remove it. Keep it as simple as possible so you can get as many leads as possible. 
when you're starting out. I have other videos, talks about $200 leads, seller leads only, so this is a strategy to get 100 leads in the next 30 days. The idea here would be to be able to close you know, make a six to ten thousand dollar plus commission for you know a hundred, hundred fifty bucks. So that's what this strategy is for. As you evolve and get more, you know, got more money, got more time, and you're just kind of looking for a different way to, you know, structure your business and automate things. You're going to want to have a different process in place. But if you want to put in five bucks a day and know that in 30 days you have one lead that's gonna convert into a deal or maybe even two for 150 bucks, 200 bucks, this is your strategy, okay? So you're gonna click full name, or excuse me, I like to do this, so sorry, I'm going a little bit out of order here, I get excited. So we remove the greeting and we're gonna do the pre-fill questions. So we're gonna copy this right here, boom, done. Now for the category, we're gonna do Contact fields, or excuse me, user information, first name, last name, email, and then phone number, okay? So now what basically they're gonna, you know, we're gonna collect that name, email, and phone number from the lead, right? And they're gonna be able to submit it. So now for your privacy policy, this is basically just asking for um, you know, privacy policy. So let's say you work at Century 21, go to century21.com. And if you have a legitimate website through your brokerage, go to your website and just go here, click privacy policy, and just paste it right there. If you go to work at Keller, type in your website, go here, go down, privacy policy, and get that, right? You work at eXp, same thing, just wanna show you different ways to get it and uh, privacy policy. Okay, so that's what you paste here and just type in privacy. Boom, privacy policy. Now we're pretty much done. So now we're gonna click completion, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our list. So let's say that you work at uh, Keller Williams, like I said, and your website is, you know, Let's see if I could find somebody here in Austin, Texas and give them some free promotion here. Let's see. So Austin, Texas. And let's go to Agent Finder here and let's see if we can find somebody at the top here with a website that has IDX function. So let's see if they have function here. I'm sure they do. Cool, perfect. So what we're gonna do is just copy this link here, right? It's Austin, Texas, and now we're just gonna paste it here. Boom. So um, thanks, you're all set, right? And we're just gonna say, click view list to view your list of Austin homes for sale. Okay, and now we're just gonna type in view list here. Boom. And now we've, you know, once they fill that out, they can click that and they're gonna be taken right to your website and they can start browsing around, checking out photos, checking out properties. And if you wanted to set the price, like let's say you wanted to do a, a range between 300 to, uh, you know, 800 per se, you could change that link and put that link here, okay? So that's up to you. Um, I would just leave it open and kind of self-filter themselves, but it's up to your discretion, okay? So now what you're gonna do is click publish, and just like that, you got your ad set up, okay? So now what you're gonna do is click close, and we're gonna add in three more image variations so that you can give your ad a better shot of succeeding, because not it's not always guaranteed that you know this ad will win, right? So what we're gonna do here is click duplicate, duplicate. We're gonna come here, type image number two, then we're gonna click delete. We're gonna click add media, click add image, and I'm just gonna use these images that are saved in my account already. That way I don't have to go and find new images. But you would find new images for Austin and put those there. This is actually an image that we took. Um, it's not in Austin, but um, works for the demo. 
Okay, then I click to duplicate again. Now I call this image three. I click the trash icon. I add the image. Now I add the third image. Make sure everything looks good here. Good here. Do one more time, just for sake of principle, I like to do four images. Gives us four chances to see which image is gonna work best. And you'll be able to see the results after a few days, see which image works. So now we basically have four images in the ad set, right? And we've got our campaign ready. Okay, so I'm gonna show you number one, that's how you do the actual initial campaign setup, okay? And I forgot to call this, I call this cold traffic lead generation, okay? So hopefully you're still with me at this point. Should have one campaign, one ad set, and four ads, all right? So now what we're gonna need to do is go to this hamburger menu and click audiences. And what we're gonna do and I already have it here, but we're gonna click create audience and click custom audience and click lead form. Okay, we're gonna click next and we're gonna choose our business page, okay? And we're gonna choose the right event. But first choose the page, so I'm gonna do Quinn Nolan. Now I'm gonna choose events. So the event is gonna be people who open but didn't submit the form. So what does that mean? It means when we run that ad, people are gonna click the ad and they don't submit their information. So now Facebook has a list of those people that opened it but didn't submit it. They're not like a list, like all their info, it's more of just it knows who opened but didn't submit, right? And the reason it knows this with perfect accuracy is because it's on their platform, right? If we took them to a landing page or something like that, uh, it still can track it, but it's not as accurate as if it were to track it based on their platform, all right? So what you're gonna do is search your lead form by name and you're gonna choose your city homes list. And then the maximum you can go out is 90 days. So I recommend doing 90. If you do another day over it, you won't be able to do it. So do 90, that way you know you have a big retargeting audience to start. As you get more advanced, you can start to do different things, but this is just beginner, basic stuff so you can get going with an ad. So then what you're gonna do is just copy this event and paste it here. So it should be audience name, people who opened but didn't submit form. So then you're gonna just type in 90D right here and you're gonna click create audience, all right? And I'm gonna do Austin here just so we can actually um, you know, see it in the ad. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'll just do Texas right there because I can't fit any more characters. So just so you could see it when we go into the ad. So click create. So now we've told Facebook, hey, you know, I want a list of these people that are, not a list, but I want people that have opened the form but they didn't submit it. I wanna show them another ad, right? So now we have to actually program the new set of ads to find these people, okay? So we're gonna go to all tools, click on ads manager, and then we're gonna just duplicate this entire campaign. So we're gonna click duplicate, and then click duplicate, oops, duplicate, duplicate. We're gonna now close this out, because this has both campaigns and I just want one. Close this, and then we're gonna edit just the new one, and the new one is the one that says copy. So now we're gonna do warm traffic and then we're gonna just delete copy. It's warm because they've engaged, they saw something, right? And keep in mind, you know, in this strategy here, you can add videos, you could do all kinds of stuff and retarget the same people that didn't open the form. But um, in this example, it's the most simple way to get a campaign up today to start getting leads so that you're not thinking about making a video or being afraid of being on camera or whatever that story is that you may have. This is just boom, plug and play, copy paste, plug and play, let's get rolling, okay? So it's warm as I define it by this specific campaign, okay? If you're an advanced person, you know, you need something else, you can go uh, message me or, uh, you know, check out our other content where I get into all that stuff, okay? So now what we're gonna do for Zillow is we're gonna just change this to that exact uh, ad set name, okay? 
So I just pasted that from my existing, you know, clipboard. And now we're targeting people who opened but didn't submit the form and everything else literally stays the same. But you can't just paste it here. You actually have to go down here and you have to type it in here so you can see it. Boom, people who opened but didn't submit form in Texas, perfect, right? And then you gotta delete Zillow because we don't wanna target people that are interested in Zillow. Um, that Because if we do, we're not gonna hit our retargeting audience, okay? So now what I recommend is just, let's just say your budget is uh, for retargeting when you're starting. Let's just put it at, you know, 40% of your overall budget if you're starting out just as a simple, you know, example, right? So let's say your total budget is, you know, $10 per day, right? I would do six bucks on cold and then four on retargeting if you're doing this specific example, okay? So in this case, if I'm doing a total budget of 100 and that other one was 50, then I would be basically at like 33 or whatever the number is, 35, okay? So just a reduced amount of spend. As you get more people in that audience, you're gonna wanna put more into the retargeting and then kind of, you know, there's more to it, but this is the simplest way to explain it, okay? So if you have uh, retargeting and the cold set up, just do it at 40% of total budget. So you may need to adjust your initial budget because um, if, you, if your total budget is 10 bucks a day, and you had five on the other one, you may wanna put that to six and then do four here, whatever, whatever, right? So now we've got this daily budget set up, right? And then we have our ads, right? So you can run the exact same ad, right? Without changing any sort of copy, without changing it and saying anything to do with retargeting, it'll just keep showing it to the same people, which is good enough. But what we like to do is we like to actually have, you know, we do video with our private clients, we coach them on video, we implement these strategies. So I wanna just show you what it would look like if you did do a little bit more of an advanced retargeting strategy. But for the sake of simplicity, you could publish this right now and have a very, very powerful set of ads running between cold and warm but I'm gonna just show you for example sake. So I'm gonna delete these other ads, okay? Don't worry about doing this if you're not ready to do it, but I'm just gonna show you. So you just click delete, and so now I'm only gonna have one ad here. That way I don't have to change all the other ads. I can change this one and then duplicate this one. So what I would do here is I would basically use this template that I have in the cheat sheet, and I would just say this on uh, video. Okay, so I would take out my phone and just say, um, I don't, I think my phone's somewhere else, but I would just say, you know, hey there, this is Quinn here from New Breed Agent, and I noticed that you just clicked on our ad for a list of homes in Austin, but you didn't fill it out and book in a call with us. So I know life gets in the way and we're all busy. If you still want that list of homes in Austin's in Austin, click the link below and we'll look forward to sending that over to you, right? Whatever, how simple, super simple, okay? But just selfie style, vertical style, and you would just plug that in right here, okay? I'm actually gonna, I like to go above and beyond, so I'm gonna pause the video, get my phone, and upload that video right here. All right, so I literally just one take recorded it on my phone and I'm gonna upload it to my computer and basically just show you what this would look like and how simple this stuff is. I literally doesn't look amazing. It's not like it's this perfect, you know, produced video. It's just, it works, okay? So here it is and it's uploading. So I'm gonna fill this out right now and basically this is just what I said in the video. So this is Quinn from New Breed Agent. So this would be, hey, this is you know, Quinn from Keller, this is Quinn from EXP, whatever, whatever. And then the ad template name is basically like the call to action, okay? So we notice you just clicked on our ad for a list of homes for sale in Austin, but didn't fill out the form. Didn't fill out the form. So we weren't able to send it to you. I know life gets in the way, so click below for 
that list of homes in Austin and we'll send it to you immediately okay we'll send it to you immediately boom so now it's the videos being processed so it's going to be loading there in just a few minutes but think about how powerful this could be okay because once again you can the the ad can change right you don't have to do a homes list you could do something else you could do something for sellers we have all these templates here that we have designed and built over the years um, so I don't know if you guys want these templates too but if you do you can just comment below and I can get those to you guys somehow but um, you know it doesn't have to be homes list this is just one of the most this is pretty much the the best ad to run for the most leads at the lowest cost and if you don't have a 5k a month budget and you know you can't do all that stuff then you know this is what you need to do right you need to just figure out a way to get leads and talk to new people and do it in an automated way so think of how powerful this is we're gonna have drive traffic to people in my target market and we're gonna be retargeting them with a video where I'm like speaking to them directly really really powerful and Keep in mind, you can do this on the cold ad too. Hey, this is Quinn. If you want a list of homes for sale in Austin, click the link below and fill it out, and then you have the retargeting. So I'm gonna try and re-upload it just because I think I can do it. Let's see. Sometimes it kind of jams up. So let's see here. Well, while it's uploading, I'm gonna move on to the next part of the, the process and the challenge. Uh, but everything's basically set up. We did the cold ads, we did the retargeting at this point, and I even threw in, I actually recorded the video for you guys right now. So that's happening. And I showed you how to make the list, right? So the next step is like, okay, how do you actually like, how do you get these leads, right? How do you get these leads to like, you like how do what do you do like okay now the ads are running and leads are being like are you how do you even get the lead right that's kind of the question at this point so i'm going to be showing you exactly how to get our leads in just a few clicks with our crm so what we're going to do here is kind of close out all the chaos so that way we're not all distracted distracted meaning me but what i'm going to do here is click on the new tab all right, and I'm gonna type in crm.newbreedagent.com. So this is you know, my CRM that I have built, and I'm going to type in sandbox because that's where I do all my tests. And video is still being uploaded, so that's kind of what's happening. Uh, but here is inside our CRM, okay? So you're probably, like I said, you're wondering, hey, how do I get these leads? How do I, what, what happens? How do I auto text them? Like, how do I get this into my CRM? So let me show you how easy this is to actually get this into your account. So this, this one's already hooked up. I think I can disconnect it just so you could see how quick and easy it is. So imagine you sign up with uh, this CRM. You have our new account. All you do is click connect. You go to Lead Connector, click Continue as Quinn Nolan. Then you choose your page. So we just go here, Quinn Nolan, click Connect. Boom, just like that, all your leads can now go into our page or it can go into our CRM. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how this works. So the first thing, once we integrate it, is we go to our Facebook form fields and then you're gonna see this Austin homes list. So it's really, really cool because all you gotta do is click map fields, it already maps it, click save, done. Just like that leads, if you launch this ad now and got a lead, it would automatically go into the CRM. So I'm gonna test it, show you how it works so you can actually see it in live, you know, live action. So I'm gonna delete all these leads. These are all test leads anyway. I'll refresh it here, that way you don't have to uh, you know get confused about if these are new leads or you know where they came from so there it is all the leads are now gone so video is still uploading okay but let's just say the ads were launched we're getting leads it works okay 
So now we're in the next step of the problem, which is getting the leads and following up with them, right? So here is how this thing works. So we're gonna do this thing called Facebook Lead Ad Tester. And basically, if we go to the testing tool, you will see that we can create a test lead by filling out the form, okay? So once again, we have this you know blank slate here. There's no leads, you can see it, right? So now we're gonna pretend we're a lead by previewing the form. And so you can see, you know, there's the form, they just clicked on the on the ad, and now here's their, their name and their test stuff. You know, this is test stuff that I put in, but I'm gonna show you how this works. So I'm going to click on, or I'm just leave the email as that, and then I'm gonna put my actual number, that way, you know, it goes to my phone. So I'm gonna click next, and then I'm gonna click submit. Boom. So one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, boom. Within five seconds, your leads are in our CRM automatically, and boom, there's the name, there's the last name, email, phone number, it pulls it from Facebook, boom, this is from a Facebook lead form, paid social media, at 2.18 p.m., boom, we got the source, um, we got all these DND, which is Do Not Disturb channels, and there's a lot more that I could show you within our CRM, but for now, this is you know what we're gonna show you. So, they come into the CRM, and now you have the lead, right? You're probably wondering, okay, well, that's, that's pretty cool, I like that. What else can we do? So let's go to this Automation tab, all right? And at this point, I, need, I can just make this full screen because we don't need that other one right now. So all we gotta do is go to Create Workflow, click on Start From Scratch, click Create New Workflow, and then we have a workflow trigger and we have an action. So a trigger is basically what, what starts the process and the action is what happens after. So in this example, the trigger is gonna be a Facebook form is filled out. So our CRM already works with Facebook, so we just click Facebook, we click Facebook lead form, we click add filters, and then we just choose the exact form. So we just type Austin, boom. So now our, our you know, CRM's already linked up. It already is pulling the leads. So the CRM will pull the lead in even if you don't set this up. I'm showing you how to automate some SMS and email. So you can click this plus button and click an SMS. So I'm gonna say, hey, Quinn, thanks for, uh, thanks for clicking on our ad and checking out a list of homes in Austin. Here's your list, boom. And I think I deleted that, uh, that, I think it's right here, right? I can do agency, or where was it? Austin Homes for Sale. So now I can just paste this link here, and if you wanna shorten it, which I recommend doing, um, just so you're not sending this insanely long link to somebody, just shorten it here. You don't need to track it and worry about all that stuff. Um, you just click copy, and then just uh, paste it right there. So, hey Quinn, thanks for clicking on our ad and checking out a list of homes in Austin. Here's your list, okay? So, there it is. Now there's a text, and then we just click save, and we publish this. Now let's say we wanna build a little bit something else. So let's do like a waiting condition. So let's say we wanna wait, you know, in 25 minutes, just follow up with them. Click save action, click plus, and then do an SMS and say, hey Quinn, so I think I forgot to change that here, but hey contact first name, did you receive, oh, I can say what did you think of the properties we sent you. Do you need a different list or a different price point? Something like that, right? We can click save action, boom. So now they fill out the form, they you know get an automated text, which I'm gonna change this to custom values being first name, and it says thanks for clicking on our ad and checking out a list of homes in Austin. Here's your list, boom, they get the list. Maybe you wanna just put your name here, you can put Quinn, 
And if you have our system, you could just do user and your first name, so it'll just automatically do it for all of them. Um, and if you have a team, it can round robin and do all that good stuff. But they get that, then it waits 25 minutes, right? And then it asks them this question, right? Hey, you know, what do you think? Do you need a different list or a different price point? Boom. And then let's just say one more. Let's say we wanted to email the same uh, message when they get the text. So, you know, they fill out the form and then we're just going to put Quinn, Quinn at New Breed Agent. Oops, Quinn at New Breed Agent, uh, list of homes in Austin. And we're just going to paste that here just for the sake of the demo. And we're going to click save. Okay, so we got a nice little automation and we can just keep building and building and building um, really, really simply just by clicking the plus and we could do a voicemail drop, we could do a call, we could do a Instagram DM with a Facebook Messenger. We can do all kinds of stuff. We can add them to a pipeline. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff we can do with our system. So we just click back to workflows and I wanna make sure that that was published so let's see, today's May 9th. So let's make sure that I publish that. I'll refresh it here. All right, May 9th. Let's see, there it is, May 9th, new workflow. Okay, so I'm gonna call this uh, Austin homes list demo boom click save done okay so just like that we got this thing live Austin homes list demo so now you probably want to see hey how does this thing actually work so I'm gonna delete this delete myself as a lead that way it doesn't get jammed so I'll be deleted as a lead here once I refresh and then I'm just gonna delete this lead from this test, uh, you know, this little testing here. So delete the lead, boom. Just refresh, refresh. So now there's no leads here, right, in the uh, system. And then there's no leads here, so we can preview it again. I'm gonna make sure I put in the uh, right email and the right phone number and click next and click submit. So once before I click submit, just wanna show you, you know, there's no leads here. Boom, no leads, submit. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, six, seven, eight, nine, boom, just like that. And guess what, if we go here, look, there's the new text, I got the email, and I got the text. So I'm gonna respond here, show you guys how that works. Boom, got the text. Let's see if you can see that. I was testing some images earlier, but either way, the text is here. And if I click this link, boom, opens up a list. So look at that, instant value delivered to the prospect. I, I got exactly what I said I was gonna get and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna respond like, wow, thank you so much. Boom, and I'm gonna click send, watch. Show you how fast this system works. Oops, click send, oops. There, I sent it right now. Boom, instantly got the message over here and I can now engage, you know, uh, you know, would, could I give you a quick call? Boom. And then I got, yes, give me five. So ch check out what this would do for your business. You, you plug in this automated system to get leads and now, I mean, I just built a simple automation just demonstrating like, okay, you got email, SMS, and you can see here I am in the queue waiting to get that other text that we built out after 25 minutes, right? But we have this whole system already built out. We already have, you know, filtration systems based on income that we've built out. 
Uh, if I go to the other systems we have, like this is just my actual demonstration count, account, uh, you can see we have campaigns that are built out already for you, so you don't have to like reinvent the wheel. We got putting together the list, here's your list, did you get the list, circling back, all this stuff built out for you know a long time. And we have all that stuff set up. We have appointment booked reminders. Our system even has calendars. So you can link up like literally your own calendar. Look at this, boom. If they book an appointment, it'll literally be in your you know CRM all connected. You don't have to worry about connecting something else or integrating it. You can see here if I uh, refresh this on the on this account here. If I go to this calendar and let's say I want to book a call, I can do Quinn Nolan, and then if I do uh, my phone number and my email. You're gonna see if I book this appointment. This is just a you know demo like account, but you could see if I go to contacts, and you can see here I just got a text. Your appointment is booked right here, and I can see all that here. I can see this uh, outbound thread, right? So I can see that your appointment is booked, and if you're a client, which would be you, you would get an email that hey Quinn booked an appointment. It's for this time and this date on your calendar and you could see all the questions. Look, I can I can trace this entire lead from the lead form. They visited this uh, page, then they booked an appointment. So I can see all this stuff in order and I can actually see like, okay, cool. Like, boom, there's my conversation. There's my email thread with him. And if you, uh, you know, have your Instagram and your Facebook linked up, it'll even show your uh, Facebook and Instagram thread with this lead here as well. So that's just the beginning of you know what can you can do with our CRM. If you go to calendars, uh, where is the calendar I booked under? I think I did this one. So you would just have one obviously. This is where I do all my tests, but there's the appointment right there. So I can see the, uh, you know, the ad blocked off time here. I can see all these features right here. Um, I think my computer is getting getting toasty from all the video and stuff we're doing, but um, if I click here, there we go. You can see here, I'm not sure why it's not loading, but if you go to the uh, opportunities, you can see kind of the pipeline stages as well, and you can create all this stuff with just a click of a button. It's pretty cool. You can go to pipelines, you want to add a new stage, you know, add new stage demo, boom, click save, go to opportunities, there it is, boom, and you can even do this, look at this, go to your automation, go to create workflow, and then go to start from scratch, click create new workflow, and then do, uh, you know, stage moved. So we can literally do this. So then stage. So let's say the stage changes from, um, you know, the, let's say the, the stage is, uh, let's say the stage is a new stage demo. We can do a text. Let's just say that that was like a uh, contact made or something. And it could say, hey Quinn, It was nice talking to you today. Here's a list of resources for your home selling journey. Could be buyer, it could be whatever. And I could, uh, you know, add an attachment here. I could put an image, boom, click save action, save, click publish, and then watch. And this could be emails as well. I mean, I'm just showing you how this thing works. So you can see here, once I move this over here, uh, the last message that went out is this, right? So watch, as soon as I move this stage over, I'm gonna get a message that says, you know, here's, here's some resources for your journey. So I just click here. 
the automation is now gonna run once this moves right over here. It's gonna take a second, boom, click contacts. And I'm really pressing it right now, I'm stress testing it, but look, boom. Hey Quinn, it was nice talking to you today. Here's a list of resources. So get it on my phone, got the image. This could be a PDF, this could be a guide. And that's the other thing, our, our CRM has funnels and websites. You could see the funnels that I've built in here. We do all this stuff like, I've built all this stuff for you guys so you can use it. So survey page, schedule page, we have all kinds of funnels. This is like I said, a demo account, but this is the type of stuff that you gotta have in your business. So we got a template for booking once they've already booked. And you know we got funnels, you can build your website here and you can create a template from our template library. So if you wanna go to uh, real estate, you can come here and choose this template right here and check this out. All you gotta do is click uh, I agree and click the green button and check this out. You'll literally have a live website in seconds right here. It's porting into your account and it's live just in a few seconds. Boom. You can see all the pages of your website. Click this. Boom. There's your website. Just like that in seconds. You've got name, email, phone. Got your about. Got your services. You can link all this stuff up. Or it's actually already linked. So you just click about click services, click contact, and then it's all linked up, just like that. And then the other cool thing is look at this chat widget. You could add a chat widget on your website. So I'm gonna show you how simple this is too. Take this photo of me and just say, you know, I have a question, text us here, and then just click save. And you just click on get code. Once it uh, moves out of the way, boom, click get code. You just uh, copy this code in the body or the footer section of your website. So I just click copy code right there. So all I gotta do is this live website, right, is now gonna have a chat feature. So I go to add or edit, excuse me, click on edit and then just click on uh, settings and then I think it said uh, said body, I think the body code. So we just go back here and then we just click on the settings over here. So this stuff is crazy powerful you guys. You can click settings and then go to body and then literally all you gotta do is paste it and just enable the chat widget, click save. And I think you probably don't even have to paste it now. I think you can just remove it and just click the button. Um, but either way, check this out. If I open this, this website now, look at that. Boom, you got a chat widget on your website. And let's say I fill this out. Boom, I'm a customer and I say, hey, um, how long, or hey, how much is my home worth? I live at 123 ABC Street in uh, LA, whatever. Boom, send and check this out. If I go to the CRM, look at this. It's gonna link all three of these channels of communication. You got your SMS, which is what we're already engaging on. You can see the SMS here. And then this is the SMS chat, so I can say, your home is worth $10 million. Let's sell it right now, dude. Boom. So now, me as a customer who is chatting on your website or potential customer was able to chat with you and then here's you responding back in the same thread. And so all I gotta do as a customer is text and say, done, let's list. Boom, look at that. So in seconds, we made a, we, we, you know, it's now an hour at this point, but we ran a fully automated advertising system. We got automated text, we got automated email going out. We built out a template website in literally clicks. We installed a chat widget on it, so we can just go here. Boom, 
and now we have a live chat widget right there. Boom. And on top of it, you can create a online uh, membership for your potential leads. So you can create like uh, like a little mini course where you teach them, you know, how to buy a house or how to sell their house. You, it's just like it's not like you need to charge them. It's just it could be a free uh, product that you could create. You just go to free product, go to build your own, and check this out. It'd be like home buyers guide, right? And it's just like all these videos of you teaching them what they need to do to buy a house. So you can go here and all I gotta do is just select a video, upload a new file. Look, I'm gonna upload that ad that I filmed earlier. And literally in seconds you have a live, a live course. And you can give that to all your leads. So when they fill out the form, they can get the, the course and start watching videos and you know you can start indoctrinating them about why you're the best and you know why they should work with you and look boom live link right there to go watch this course hey there. in seconds it's still buffering so it's not going to show the video yet give it you know two minutes or so but there it is they would see all the courses see your name so this is what we're we're doing at new breed agent we're not only just showing you how to get some leads and you know how to do some follow-up we're actually showing you look you could transform your business if you have the right tools and the right guide and somebody that knows how to do this stuff. And there's a lot of opportunity out there. I mean, I know at your brokerage, it may be so limiting. It's just like, oh, just go door knock, just go do these old methods. And they work, don't get me wrong. But if you're not innovating, if you're not at least exposed to some of this stuff, how do you even know, you know, what you can really create if you just think that it's all about this old school method of doing it? Like maybe you're really great at video and no one's telling you you could do it or show you how to get business or maybe you're really good at providing a lot of value in the form of written email and no one's showing you how to do it right or you could see the the vision that I'm talking about here and how it all works together but you know, no one's showing you how to do it. Well, that's what we're doing at New Breed Agent. That's why I made this full free one hour training to show you for free how you can do this stuff and implement it. So hopefully you guys found value in it and I want to see if this went live. And yeah, look at that live course just like that it came out. Uh, hey there, gray. This is Quinn. I don't know why my my phone does that for whatever reason, but um, I'm seeing if under my glasses it looked different but sometimes my phone does that oh i know why it does that anyway um so yeah this is basically what you can be doing and this is it just totally changes the way you look at your business so hopefully you found it valuable hopefully you can share this with a friend and you know tell other people about it because like i said my intent is to provide the most value to you guys so you can share it, like it, subscribe. I can grow my channel, start educating more of you guys, showing you how to do this stuff and how to do it the right way. So please like, please share, please comment. If I miss something, if you wanted a template or to learn more about our CRM or whatever, comment below um, and I will talk to you in the next video and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.